If you guys don't know, I have several Facebook groups called as Study in Germany, Study in France. I've made a separate Facebook group for people who only want to study business in Germany or in France. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellectual scale velocity. Let's start today's day. So many of you reached out to me very recently about Hey, how's the school? Uh, can you show? Does the school really exist or not? Hopefully this video is going to answer your question. So geographically explaining you, the nearest station to the school is called as Kleispark U-Bahn station. And uh, just like five minutes walk on the Google map I saw, even though I know this area very well, just to show you guys, I did that. So just five minutes walk from the U-Bahn station. Otherwise quite central as a location. <music> Usually there's a very strong security system here in Germany. Last time I remember when I came, I went by, I went upstairs using staircase, but this time we can definitely take the elevators. Third floor. Third floor. BSBI. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm joined here by Amira and Amira is going to be taking me around the campus for today. So Amira, what usually we do is on our channel is uh, first we get to know the person, who they are, where they come from, what brought you to Berlin and then we'll gradually get into more details like why are you doing MBA, okay. what about job prospects after this and all that. is marketing I did in Panama where I live it or it's my home base now okay I'm originally from Venezuela born and raised but I also live in Costa Rica um, Panama uh, Ivory Coast uh, the States Spain so I have traveled a little bit and mm -hmm. get to know all the cultures and that's why I'm here finally in Europe mm -hmm. to start my master I worked at, uh, for five years uh, Prior to this, I worked in Dolce and Gabbana, all the luxury brands. Mm -hmm. I also, my last job was to volunteer in Africa and mm -hmm. OEM. And uh, in that moment is when I realized that, that I needed a, uh, like a master because I was lacking something that all the other people around my age, 26, 25, they already have master. Yeah. So that's when I say, oh wow, I really need to have this so I can go for a better jobs and job opportunities. Right. And you said you're doing masters in strategic marketing. management? Marketing. marketing. Okay, yeah. strategic marketing. Do you think the money what you're spending here in this school, is it a lot of money where you come from? Um, where I come from, yes, but it's relatively, uh, for other countries, it's not, I think. Right. Yeah. Let's move on now to okay. see the facilities provided here in the school. So this is where we go in the actual campus where it all starts. But before we go ahead, what is this wall about? I know some of the brands, that's why I want to ask, but my audience may not know about that. Well, basically, here we have what is like our business partners. Uh, uh -huh. Many places to spot a home, AC2, hotels and hostels. They are all accommodation places. Uh -huh. And then we have like Murberries, uh, Young Capital. All these startups are amazing because uh, they give us opportunity to find like career opportunities, how to do interviews. So it's really good partners that we have right now. Right, right. So they yeah. come here as a guest lecturer, come and talk to yeah, the, like, the real uh, industry yeah. leaders. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. They give us advices and offer us jobs and how to seek job opportunities in the German yeah. market. Okay. So is this where the classrooms and everything starts? Yes, pretty okay. much. taking me to one of the classrooms. So this is all belongs to BSBI. What is the capacity of this class? Around 40 people. Yeah. Okay. Did you have some class here? Yeah, like the welcoming speech from the dean uh -huh. was here. Okay. So, yeah. If you have to tell okay. me, how does your day look like? Well, so, yeah, yeah, basically in here in the campus, we have two days full time since 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. So it's like, wow. So yeah, it's like a chunk of classes, but we have some breaks in between, obviously. Yeah, of course. So we have, uh, first of all, it's our marketing master bachelor classes. Mm -hmm. And then we have a break for three to four hours. And then we have our German lessons, German classes. Okay, so, so German is taught in the curriculum, what you? Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah, we start since day one. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> yes. wait a second. So just want to recall on the point what you just said. You said like two days in a week you have a class yeah so on campus right on the campus you come only two days exactly. and, then, and then the rest three, three days, days are off 
you're off. Yes, basically sometimes they will ask you to come for like a lecture class from some you know, participant from a country or something like that, online courses, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's basically just two days and three days off. Yeah, how are you dealing with German language? Well, it's definitely difficult and also um, you will think in Berlin it's very more like English-like mm -hmm. but yeah, there's still some older people, older yeah. generations, they don't speak any English so you need to know German or at least a little bit to get in your daily life. Right, when you say you need to know a little bit German, what level are you talking? Like the basics, because even sometimes like in, in the subway, U-Bahn, how they call mm -hmm. it here, everything is on German, so yeah. you don't know how to get your ticket, small right. things like that, that you know, yeah, right. they're right. necessary. Just to make this answer easy, um, maybe it's better if you do your A2 level before coming yes. to Germany, and then yeah. you can do the B1 level, which is the intermediary level exactly. in the country while you're living here. Yeah, right? that's what you I would agree? recommend. It. Yeah. yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. All right, guys, so I'm joined here by Ms. Pieta. Uh, she's the program manager here in BSBI. My first question for you is, if you really have to pitch, mm -hmm. you have one minute mm -hmm. to my audience, why BSBI? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. We're international, we're diverse, we are very open, we're in the heart of Berlin where there is a lot of uh, development and uh, change. We're very vivid, mm -hmm. agile. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, for the time being approximately 20 nationalities on campus, okay. so it's very intercultural. We are convinced that studying at BSBI in Berlin is um, digging deep into minimum two cultures, but maybe 20 cultures, and to learn how to um, get the most out of it as a benefit, not only personally, but also for the future um, career and business of our students. If I go to the school in Berlin, which is based in Germany, while they give me my my degree from Italian University, mm -hmm. how does that go about? Like, um, am, I, am I still gonna enjoy the same facilities what a German student usually mm -hmm. get, which is stay back option in this country of 18 months and all that. Yeah. Do you wanna shed some light on that? What's your thought on that? Yes, um, two answers and two views. A uh, few number one is if you get Italian degree mm -hmm. from a German Berlin-based business school, yeah. you get more than just one degree uh -huh. um, because you have this, um, Again, a very European, international combination of best of both worlds. That's one thing. The, the other thing is Uninetuno University in Rome is an international, online, blended learning university, very famous, 25 years old, mm -hmm. minimum, in 140 countries in this world present. So we share with them our philosophy and our ideas. And answer number three, we are Europe and it doesn't matter honestly if you have your degree from a German university mm -hmm. or from an Italian university, but if it's from an international university in, in, in Italy mm -hmm. combined with a German Berlin based, I think you can not get something better than that. Alright, so I'm sitting here with May and I mean, you guys have been giving me the campus tour. Um, this is where we're going to be talking about job part, something which is haunting a lot of students um, after doing a lot of investments. I'm sure you have given a lot of thought into selecting the school, selecting the city, country yeah. and yeah, right? Yeah. You've done some research before starting this journey. What about jobs for you? Because uh, back home, I come from Egypt. I have a seven years experience already. I want to get to another level in my career. Especially in marketing, now marketing is becoming so global. Mm -hmm. And you need to know like different uh, markets in, all over the, the globe. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to even uh, take experience in uh, other European countries. So And Berlin is such an international uh, city. So it's really exciting for me to get this exposure here yeah. and to learn about how maybe they have different tactics of marketing that is different than my country. So if there's something that I see it's, um, it's effective, I can, can I apply this tactic that they're using here back home? Mm -hmm. So this will be really great. And for me, in the long term, I want to have my own company, my own marketing company. So I am also want to like, um, gain interpersonal skills in leadership, in management, communication. So I think just being uh, in another country, in another challenge, uh, this would be great uh, even on a personal growth. And 
to know how to like uh, break the ice with people, go natural, put yourself out there and not be scared. So, if you really have to advise your friend who's watching, uh, my advice for you: seek something you love, so that you can be committed to the job you're doing, so that uh, your employer you get in promoted and you will find like you're not working every day, but you're doing something actually you love. Um, so yeah, that's my advice. What well, about you? Um, mine's more practical. I would say that you choose before uh, you come here just to search for the job market to see if your career is matchable uh, with the situation is happening because there are a lot of works in Germany but not in the same cities. So that's important to know. It depends on your careers. If you go to South, you are better pay there, more expensive, and Berlin is like so you have to contrast everything.